hey, you know, I hate it when good people get ripped off, right? And let me tell you something. These new cars they're putting out today are just ticking time bombs if you don't know what to look for. We're talking about EGT sensors today. You got a turbocharger, a diesel engine, or one of those fancy new cars with all the emissions controls. Well, you got one of these EGT sensors. And when it goes bad, brother, let me tell you, it's going to cost you. This little sensor, it keeps an eye on how hot those exhaust gases get. And believe me, they get hotter than a jalapeno eating contest in July. This sensor protects your engine, keeps it running smooth, and makes sure you're not spewing out more pollution than a coal plant. BMW, Mercedes, Ford, even those Volkswagens, they all use these things now. So you've got to pay attention, because today I'm going to give you the knowledge to save yourself a whole heap of trouble. Uh, that check engine light, it's like the idiot light in most cars, it comes on for everything. But if you're seeing it, especially with some of these other problems I'm going to tell you about, you better pay attention. See, the computer in your car, the ECU, it talks to that EGT sensor. And if that sensor starts sending screwy signals, or worse yet, no signal at all, bam, check engine light. You could have a bad connection, a short, or the sensor itself could be fried. Don't be one of those knuckleheads that ignores it. Get yourself a good code reader, not one of those cheap things from the auto parts store, but a real one. You're looking for codes like P0544. That's a sure sign that EGT sensor is on its way out. And trust me, you don't want to wait until it's completely gone. You ever go to get your emissions tested and they slap you with a big fat fail? Well, that EGT sensor might be the culprit. See, when it's not working right, it sends the wrong information to the car's computer. And that computer is like the brains of the operation for your engine. It controls how much fuel gets mixed with the air. And if it's getting bad information from the EGT sensor, it's going to get that mixture all out of whack. Too much fuel and you're pumping out more pollution than a city bus. And we all know how strict those emissions regulations are getting. They want you to buy a new car every few years, but not me. I'm going to keep my old truck running forever. So if you're failing emissions, don't just throw parts at it blindly. Get that EGT sensor checked out. Now, if you've got a diesel, you know all about that diesel particulate filter or DPF. It's like a giant air filter for your exhaust supposed to trap all that soot and keep it from clogging up the atmosphere but here's the thing that dpf needs to get cleaned out every now and then and that's where the egt sensor comes in it tells the computer when the exhaust is hot enough to burn off all that soot but if the sensor is bad and it can't do its job and that dpf gets clogged up like a hoarder's house you'll feel it too loss of power worse fuel economy it's like driving with the parking brake on and if you keep driving it like that you're going to need a new DPF, and those things are about as expensive as a week-long cruise. Now, let's talk about everyone's favorite subject, money. When that EGT sensor goes bad, it can really put a hurt in on your wallet at the gas pump. See, that sensor is telling the computer how hot the exhaust is, and the computer uses that information to figure out how much fuel to inject into the engine. But when the sensor is giving bad readings, the computer gets confused. It's like trying to bake a cake with the wrong measurements. You're going to end up with a mess. The engine might run too rich, which means it's using more fuel than it needs to. And with gas prices these days, who wants to be wasting money like that? You're filling up every other day, wondering why you're spending so much at the pump. And little do you know, it's this little sensor causing all the trouble. This is the big one, folks. If your EGT sensor goes bad and starts giving out false readings, it can lead to catastrophic engine failure. We're talking melted pistons, warp cylinder heads, the whole nine yards. See, that EGT sensor is like the canary in the coal mine for your engine. It's the first line of defense against overheating. If the exhaust gas temperatures start to get too high, it's a sign that something is wrong. Maybe the engine is running too lean, or the cooling system isn't working properly. Whatever the cause, if the EGT sensor isn't there to warn the computer, the engine can overheat in a hurry. And when I say overheat, I mean really overheat, like hot enough to melt metal. We're talking about a repair bill that'll make you weep. Now, you ever be driving down the road, put your foot on the gas, and it feels like your car is towing a boat anchor? Yeah, that's what we call a loss of power. And it's another sign that your EGT sensor might be on its way out. See, that sensor is responsible for telling the computer how much boost the turbocharger is producing. 
and if the sensor is giving bad readings, the computer might not let the turbocharger spool up all the way. Or worse, it might think the turbocharger is working fine when it's not, which can lead to all sorts of nasty problems. Without the proper boost, your engine is going to feel gutless and unresponsive. Chapter 7. Turbocharger. Damage whining, rattling, and big repair bills. Speaking of turbochargers, that EGT sensor plays a vital role in keeping your turbo happy and healthy. Those turbos, they get spinning really fast. I'm talking tens of thousands of RPMs, and all that spinning generates a lot of heat. That's why they're designed to operate within a specific temperature range. Too hot, and the bearings can wear out prematurely, or the impeller can even melt. Too cold and you're not getting the full boost pressure you need. That's where the EGT sensor comes in. It monitors the exhaust gas temperature, which is a good indicator of how hot the turbocharger is running. If the sensor detects that the temperature is getting too high, it'll alert the computer, which can then take steps to cool things down, like adjusting the fuel mixture or even activating an auxiliary cooling system. Now, that EGT sensor, it's not just there to protect your engine and turbocharger, it also keeps your entire exhaust system from melting down like an ice cream cone in August. Think about it, those exhaust gases are hot, I'm talking hundreds, even thousands of degrees Fahrenheit, and they're flowing through a series of pipes, mufflers, and catalytic converters. All those components are designed to withstand high temperatures, but there's a limit. If that EGT sensor fails and the exhaust gas temperatures get too high, it can damage or even destroy those components. You might start to hear rattling noises from under your car, or you might even see smoke coming from places it shouldn't be. And trust me, replacing a catalytic converter is not cheap. Now, for you diesel owners out there, a bad EGT sensor can cause a whole other set of problems, especially when it comes to starting your engine. See, diesels, they rely on high compression to ignite the fuel. And when the engine is cold, it's harder to generate that compression. That's why most modern diesels have glow plugs, which are little heating elements that preheat the combustion chamber. And guess what controls those glow plugs? That's right, the EGT sensor. It tells the computer how cold the engine is and how long to keep the glow plugs activated. So if the sensor is bad, the glow plugs might not stay on long enough or they might not come on at all. And that means you're going to be sitting there cranking and cranking until the battery dies. Here's another problem that, that, that can be caused by a bad EGT sensor reduced throttle response. You know that feeling, you step on the gas and the engine just doesn't respond the way it should. It's like the car is hesitant or like it's stuck in mud. Well, in some cases, that reduced throttle response can be caused by the car's computer going into what's called limp mode. Limp mode is a safety feature that's designed to protect the engine from damage if a serious problem is detected. And guess what one of those serious problems could be? You got it, a bad EGT sensor. When the computer sees that the EGT sensor is sending out wacky signals, it might think that the engine is in danger of overheating. So to prevent any damage, it limits the engine's power output. The car will still run, but it's going to feel sluggish and unresponsive. So, so there you have it, folks, the EGT sensor. It might be small, but it plays a vital role in keeping your modern engine running smoothly, efficiently, and most importantly, safely. Remember, if you ignore the warning signs, it's going to cost you. We're talking about expensive repairs, poor fuel economy, and even complete engine failure. So be proactive, do your research, and don't let a bad EGT sensor ruin your day. And hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. And as always, remember, if you can't fix it yourself, take it to a mechanic you trust. Don't let them rip you off.